below YouTube, this is Hawaiian Air 2121 with a brand new United 757-200 in the Her Art Here California livery. This plane just came in the mail about five minutes ago and I am so, so excited to see it. Uh, I'm going to be doing a model review of it and I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is going to be one of two model reviews. The other model review uh, is going to be a Virgin Australia 737-800 with skimmers. And I will be doing that review after this, maybe a couple couple days later, but this was the main one I really wanted to review. So let's get straight into it. Starting with the nose of the plane, we have uh, sunglasses on top of the cockpit windows and NG nailed this. This looks uh, just like the real plane in real life. They have sunglasses right on the plane, which I think is a cool accent to the plane and NG nailed it. They've got the sunglasses right over there and they continue on this side. One thing to note is that this plane does not have the connecting people uniting the world um, badge on it, and this is because it actually doesn't have it in real life either. Uh, it's just a special plane by United, and this plane just looks so detailed so that it, NG did a phenomenal, phenomenal job on the water right there. I think that is just the right shade, the right color, and it just looks so, so gorgeous right over there. One thing I love about this plane is that everything, the colors really match with one another. You got the yellow green palm with the yellow green line over there, the blue palm with the united tail, and the purples, and the purples match right over here. And I think that the coloring on this is spot on. I think NG did a great job on it. There was plenty of detail. You got your antenna right over here, and, and then the Wi-Fi dome antenna right over there. And there's just a lot of detail to this plane. This is one of my favorite features of the model, and this is where the Golden Gate Bridge meets the purple sky in the belly of the plane. And we have the United Tail, and I have to say, NG nailed it perfectly with this tail. You've got the beautiful United New Livery tail with the globe enlarged with the blue tint on top. And then you have the purple sky in the background with the Golden Gate Bridge. Now, when they first released this, NG has this blue, and I was going to expect it to be blue, not purple because of copyright issues, but NG delivered it perfectly with a bright shade of purple right over there. Uh, this is a purple part of the plane and they nailed it perfectly. The registration is November 14106 and they have even right over there, 0106 right over there by the right of the cabin door over there. Uh, they have the uh, Golden Gate Bridge right over here. There's and they have the Wi-Fi dome right over there. So one of my favorite features is just this section of the plane just because it looks so, so good. So here are the two tails of the planes, the NG on the left and the white box on the right. And it looks like NG got it a little bit more. There's just a little bit more um, hue to the blue on the left and it looks more uh, brighter. This is a bit pale and uh, it does have the white uh, tail, the white edge along the globe. Uh, both of them did a pretty good job in the tail. I'm not gonna say that one model uh, is better than the other. There are slight differences, but they both look really, really cool. Now, I don't like doing this to the plane at all, but just to show you guys, uh, they actually did have the uh, purple on the underbelly of the plane while on this New Jersey, New York, it's all gray. Now, I don't know what the uh, if the Statue of Liberty on the New Jersey, New York one falls also on the underbelly of the plane, but the purple did right over here, and it looks like a really nice touch to the plane as well. Uh, they have also the blue line right over there and the ocean right over there. And on this plane, it's just the gray over here. You got the 757-200 right over there, and another 757-200 right over there. One thing that I have to say is better about the NG models in the white box version is that this is completely white rather than the little grayish tint over here and a little white by the nose and then grayish over here. NG models has uh, nailed it right over there. Um, I think that this looks just like the plane and one of the problems with the heart here, the New Jersey, New York one, was that the gray was not completely present, that the gray is kind of present over there. It's not completely white like it should be. Um, and this one is just completely white. The whole outer belly of the plane is white. Just perfect. The United coloring over here. Both have a uh, Wi-Fi dome right over there. I apologize this is not to focus. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this was really exciting to unbox and show you guys. And I'm very, very excited to display this in my model airports. This is a really, really great model right over here. Uh, the, white box, the white box version is also a really great model. Uh, I'm sure they're gonna be doing a good uh, model of the California plane. I just want the one of them, so I don't need both. So I won't be getting the white box version of the California plane just because I have this here. But both of the planes really look great. Um, there are some differences, some, uh, the NG's better, and this one, the Gemini's better, but both of the models are really, really great all together. Uh, I think this was a huge success, the two her here models, and I'm really um, excited to show you guys my next model, the Virgin Australia 737-800 with split skin runners. That will be coming in a couple of days. Uh, please comment below on what your favorite feature of the plane is, and uh, if you will be getting this plane, if you have it pre-ordered. Uh, I was just lucky enough that this came in the mail today. Uh, I think a lot more of the shipments are now coming in because this is in the stock. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.